we are doing very well with prep. Hello and welcome back to another student vlog. It is Thursday, October 3rd. This next week and two days, I will need to be working on my setup for the Quebec City Comic Con. It is next weekend and we gotta get rolling with that. Thankfully, we already know how the setup is going to be like, so we just have to make some adjustments here and there to make sure that it fits our needs for this convention. If you saw on Instagram, I showed a little sneak peek of something that I was working on. And yeah, I decided to start working on a new bookmark design. <laughs> and this time it is a Halloween bookmark and it features some cats that I drew for an October prompt a couple years back. And every once in a while, I will draw these cats again. But yeah, the last time I drew them, I drew them as die cut stickers. Last night, I finished all the artwork for the front and the back. I'll show you that in a little bit. So today's goal is to make them. That way that it's completely done and I can just focus 100% on the setup. So yeah, let me show you guys that. Here is the front of the bookmark. Up here we have Franken Cat. We have a ghost cat holding a pumpkin that is on the black cat's head and he has a little angry sign here. Then we have a cute unicorn cat with a star wand and then we have a wizard cat. I did something similar with my froggo bookmark where there were five froggos and they were different fairy tale characters so I think this is going to be kind of my thing where I have five of the same animals doing something or being something i think that'd be really cute this is the back of the bookmark up here we have the moon and then we have the wizard cat we have a bat cat i first drew the bat cat and then i added the wizard cat and then the ghost cat and as you can see their backs are turned towards us because they're all heading towards the yellow moon and then here we have making art at the bottom. I'm kind of glad I ended up doing the back like this because it was only going to be the bat cat right here. I already set up the files and sent them to my iClouds. I'm gonna do a test print and make sure the front and back match up and then I'll do the real thing. So yeah, let's get started on that. printed it in black and white to save ink and it looks like it's perfectly fine. If you're curious about how I do front and back printing, I have a video where I showed how I did it the first time so I'll link it on the side over here or probably over here somewhere so you guys can refer back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the other ones to make sure that they're perfectly aligned and then once those are cut I can start on the final product. I just finished the bookmarks. I made 15 in total, but there were two that I considered be great, so I have 13. So that is what I'm going to have for the Quebec City Comic Con. I know I said recently that I had my last shop update, so I don't know if I'm going to put these bookmarks up. Maybe I should. They aren't going to be there in time for Halloween for sure, but Eventually, I'll put these up because I would just like them to be in the Etsy shop. I think they look really, really good. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Oh, 
I'm happy I took the time to also draw this. But yeah, it's nice to get one more product in before the Quebec City Comic Con. This is how the setup currently looks like. Excuse the red lamp, it's in the way, but can't do anything about it. <laughs> One of the adjustments we decided to do was to add two additional grid cubes up here so that my logo is higher, so that this whole first row could be art prints. Possibly might not need all of them. I forgot how many grid cubes I used last time to display them. I'm wanting to put the hair bows maybe on this section and then acrylic keychains and accessories in this section. Maybe we won't need these pink grid cubes or these little things here and here, but we'll have to see. Where's our wooden, the wooden things we need? This, this would be the product container.
So this is how the setup is going to look like. I really like how this one looks compared to the one I did for Cosplay Imaginaire because it looks a lot fuller, especially here in the front. Usually there is a lot of space in front of the table because the whole display gets pushed all the way back. But because we have some stuff rearranged, it looks a lot better. So let me show you guys. Up here, I have my prints. And we also have numbers for each print. Also the accessories here because it's going to be a much bigger convention. So it'll just be easier since it's going to be a huge convention to ask for the number of the product they want. So hopefully that will help us out a lot. And here I have my social media on the side. Usually I have it in the front here. But because we have these two shelves here, I have to move it up here. We have a cups up here, my stationary mystery bag here. It's sitting on top of a clear container. We have these two shelves here that I found at Dollarama. I was going to use it for the last setup, but I couldn't figure out what to do with them. Over here, we have discounted items. It's basically items that barely ever sell or items I'm almost done with. So for example, these shaker charms only have a few. I literally only have this left of the shaker charms. So if they could go to new homes, during this convention, that would be awesome. Here, I'll have my coasters. This cap button is gonna go on number five over here. But for now, it's just here chilling. We have stationery here, the $4 stationery. Up here, I have the $7 stationery. I have the signs pointing at each section. So I hope that it doesn't confuse people. Usually the buttons are right here, but we're just sliding it over here. And then we have the dollar bin here. And this bottom section I'm not using, so I had just enough stickers to fill up these first two sections because these bottom sections are going to be covered by this and this. We didn't really need to put anything down there, so that works out. The main goal for this whole setup was trying to figure out how to do this section. When you walk in front of the display, you can see it. We have some of these containers i love these containers i use them everywhere i get them from the dollar store and they are perfect for this so i'm gonna have a few of the hair bows here and then some of them hanging here and we have a few on the side here we have an empty space here and over here so i might print out an original character to put on each section we decided from doing cosplay imaginary to put my sign up there so we just added two extra grid cubes so that it's higher that way there's space for the prints but yeah i think this is the best setup i've done so far it's thursday october 10th tomorrow my husband and i are going to go to the location of the quebec city comic con with my mother-in-law and we're gonna set up around 1 p.m so the convention is happening this weekend i'm super super excited we are doing very well with prep the signs the setup all that stuff is done but yeah i'm super excited i hope the convention goes well and yeah that'll be it for this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it the next time you guys see me it will be the quebec city comic con vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye